Hey, what's going on everybody here? FTG Full Tilt Gaming here. Welcome to today's video. We are going to show you guys the new Detroit Diesel by Zmods. Got another winner here on our hands, so if you guys enjoy this, stay tuned. We're going to show you all about this engine pack and also something that is very soon going to be popping up on his site. So make sure that you are tuned in. Make sure that you're following his website. Uh, we've got a Freightliner XL Classic Sounds Interior Effects Pack. So we've got a packed video for you today. We'll kind of show you all of the cool stuff and all of the new things that Zmods is doing with his engines and sound sets here with American Truck Sims. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's let's dive into it. I've got a, a little bit of info here off the front, just so you guys are aware of everything that's going on. Um, we've got so obviously mods. You probably, or you guys are probably looking at going. Oh my God, where, where, how do I get that? What's that? What's this? Before we even get to the engine, so I've got a couple things running right now. Obviously, we've got JBX graphics in the back. That's JBX graphics, and I can put a link for that. We're also in two other mods. That is the Payware Step Deck from Pingus uh, website. Absolutely fantastic. It's got a lot of really great loads. There's a lot of custom ability on that drop deck. And we're also in the Freightliner Classic XL, which is one of the compatible trucks there from Zmods. If you want to check any more info out on compatibility list or ask questions, please join his Discord. Uh, contact him through his website, zmods.com. I'll, I'll link all this stuff in the description, so make sure you check it. Um, that way, you guys, if you're driving a different truck or a Freightliner, you got a question about a truck you have, um, it does have an open def, so you can create your own uh, linkage to whatever truck you want to. Now, I've got two videos. One is going to take you to Soundscapes for Zmods, which we're going to talk about really quickly, and then two, I'm going to link it to how to actually open those open def sounds and actually add compatibility to his truck. So basically, any sound that he has, you can add that sound to any truck that you own as long as you can get the file name for the truck. That's it. So I'm going to put that video up. Uh, we're also, uh, that one's coming. Redone that video, but that one's coming. And then we'll have the other one linked for you there in the description. Okay. So a lot of things to check out. So hopefully all those questions are answered. So second thing that I want to mention is that we're running the Freightliner uh, actual pack from the uh, Zmods is fixing to release is the effects pack. So it's the interior effects pack we're going to add, uh, and that is going to add into uh, all of the switches and the buttons and the air brakes uh, are actually from his free set. So you'll actually hear those, but everything else when it comes to wiper switches and the gear, uh, you know, the tra in the transmission when you hear the gears change and all that stuff, that's all coming in an effects pack that will add all of those different switches and effects inside the cab of the truck and you'll kind of get to hear what that sounds like today but that's where that sounds coming from not from the engine sound engine sound takes care of all the in and outs from the engine but i have a whole zmod soundscape so that video as well as talking about linked into the description so make sure you check it out okay let's go ahead that was a two and a half minute quick fix on like everything we got going on so let's go ahead and let's dive into it um i want to go ahead and set up a few things what you're hearing what pack that comes from and then outside of that, I'm just going to drive a little bit, let you guys kind of get to feel all of this. Um, so turn them headphones up, turn all that stuff up, you know, once we get driving, and it should be good. So here's um, part of the effects pack is really cool. You do have the park brake sounds. That is the air brake sounds from Zmods. I'm running a full Zmod soundscape in this truck, so you can hear, obviously, the air brakes come through. Even pressing the brakes, you get the same thing. Mm -hmm get a new Freightliner style air horn with this and you also get the gear change sounds from outside the truck which is really nice now inside the truck things are going to change a little bit and you get you get a sound into neutral and then you also get a sound into the gear so it's not just one click you actually get two clicks into this so there's one into neutral and then two. It's pretty cool. Park brakes inside. Sound really nice. Brake sounds. Switches. There's your lights. Turn signals. Even blinker sounds are different. I think you even get a sound for the uh, Jake brake. And you also get a sound for each one of the uh, stages of brakes. So once you're doing a first, second, or third stage, 
They all have a different, completely different sound attached to them, and they also have the little switch that takes you from each stage. Even though the animation is not necessarily put in inside the truck, you still have the controllability for that. And there's the retarder. So if you're running the transmission with a retarder, which John Rudis, I think, all have, then you'll have the ability to do that. All right, and let's go ahead and let's start it up. Windows are up. You do have different window sounds. Here's a window sound. All right. So we're running a 13 speed transmission today, so. Tire sounds also from Z mods. You'll hear tire noises from Z mods, the wind noises from there, air brakes are from there. Those are all free mods, so make sure you go pick those up from his website. So only things from Z mods that you'll ever have to pay for are the engine packs and the interior effects packs because that's what he actually pays for and rents a truck out for a day to record all this so what you're hearing is not a different engine it is an actual dd60 that he recorded himself Little bit bumpy that's all right all right so as we're getting up kind of our cruise speed here uh you'll notice little turbo flutters that's another thing that's uh that's very nice and i'll actually give you a, this truck actually has a rev limiter so um you you wouldn't necessarily uh you, you wouldn't i don't know that i've ever heard that on on any truck from uh <laughs> from ncs yeah, so this is really cool to have a rev limiter on the truck because most of the time it's like the sound just disappears like it'd be like Whoa! And then it just goes out of nowhere, and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not how this works. All right, come on there, truck. So uh, so once we... Oh, okay, he's going to let us back over. So once we get out here on the uh, open road here, after we get out of the stoplight here, we'll gonna show you the, uh, the Jake brake and some other things you guys might want to hear on this. I love the brake sounds. It's free again. That part is to make sure you get the air brake sound from Z Mods to have all those cool sounds. And they'll basically transfer that to all of your... Uh, transfer that to all of your uh, uh, trucks. Alright, here we go. I'll let you hear that exhaust flutter. Let you listen to the, the full stage here and flip our uh, 
Now, to, to hear different stages, I do point this out because a lot of people don't pick this up. You do have to assign a couple of buttons inside of the truck, okay? So, um, inside that truck, they usually have, um, you know, uh, I think I think it's J-Break Strength, uh, and then you have a plus and minus. You'll have to set two keys to plus and minus to, to change your um, J-Break uh, break level settings. So, here's the full stage. There you go. I think the brake sounds are probably the thing inside the um, the engine sets here, and that air brake sounds probably about the best thing that I've ever seen that adds immersion realism into these trucks. I'll roll the windows up here and give you a good taste of it inside. It's a nice cruise. It's not too much. So the uh, last thing I'll show you here um, is the outside uh, sounds. So this thing's got a nice 360 kind of soundscape around this truck. So things do sound differently uh, depending on where you're sitting around on this truck. So sit back here by the exhaust pipes, things sound totally different than they do out in front of the truck. And obviously the more you get back here, the more you hear turbo and, and uh, actual exhaust sounds. Move to the front of the truck and you'll hear a lot more engine sound. Got a nice, uh, a nice spatial design on this, on this, uh, on this engine set. Really, all of his stuff does, especially his ladder stuff, though. Turn signals add a nice little uh, add a nice little touch. Whoop.
All right, so let's show you as well. We'll show you this um, this rev limiter. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so the last thing that you guys can hear is y'all can hear that little, little, it's like it's little bouncing, you know, like something, you got a, a wire or something's bouncing up against stuff like a spring or something, or even just hitting road bumps and hear natural road noises inside. That's all the interior noise pack. So um, that right there, that little switch and little, uh, you know, pneumatic seat where it's leaning on either side, that's from the interior noise pack, it's free. So grab all those uh, Z Mods free packs and then check out the video. Uh, that I put in the description. That'll help you stack them all right, pick all the right stuff out, uh, and then know that at least that way you'll know that you've got everything and it's all sounding as it as it should be. So. So uh, we've got a lot of things going on here, and I'm uh, I'm super happy to be working with Z. He does a fantastic job, uh, and I hope you guys will uh, will go uh, listen to some of his sound packs. Uh, maybe pick up a few things for your favorite trucks. Make sure uh, two things. Make sure that you uh, know for one, grab his other sounds pack. Don't just grab the engine and the interior sounds pack for these trucks. That's fine, but make sure you get the whole soundscape. Uh, make sure you get the interior noise. Make sure you get all of these other little, uh, you know, these other little accessory type sound mods. And then make sure you watch my last video on stacking all of those mods and putting a soundscape together for ATS that actually is very, very, very immersive. Um, I think you'll definitely enjoy what I'm hearing here. And, uh, and before we go, I'm going to go ahead and clue you in on something that I probably should at least at the beginning because um, we're going to have just a lot of good straight cruising road here in front of us. Um, one thing is going to be your uh, audio. Um, your audio for these packs should look something similar to this. Now, some of this is preference. Some of this is what, but basically with all of his stuff, I typically have it at 50%. And then I take all of these. Now, you can turn this up. Now, here's the thing. The way that these compressed sounds sound, once you lower the volume of some of these, they take away a lot of it. Um, so what I would suggest, and this maybe goes for all of your sounds, turn especially these three all the way up to 100. The one that I will mess with is the turbo volume. Um, outside of that, I leave all these at 100% when I'm using Z mods, which is almost every truck. Um, 
the truck effects volume uh, all the way up. The truck effects are things inside tire noise. It's uh, the switches. It's the horn. It's like it's all of that stuff. Uh, truck noise, the same same difference. All these tire. These are all interior kind of like the sounds of the truck and what it sounds like. Um, trailer noise. I still figuring out if that's like the trailer um, attach uh, sound. I'm not exactly sure what comes off of that trailer noise volume. Uh, but anyway, traffic is what it is. World sounds and ambient are things you hear in the map. That could be things from weather, uh, rain, uh, all of those types of things. Things that you hear inside the map like music at different places. Um, things you may hear going through a city. You might hear different things at SES or even a map modder has thrown in there. It's kind of accessory sounds. Ambient sounds exactly the same. So you get all the ambient weather and lightning thunder wind all of that kind of stuff there interior sounds is what all that stuff sounds like in the inside of the cab i put it at 100 and then everything else is how you would like to um you know kind of uh mess with it but anyway this is what i've got going so this kind of gives you a a full uh you know a full look into the soundscape of what i've got running here in american truck alongside with z mods um so anyway i hope you enjoy the detroit diesel series uh pack uh other than that i'm gonna finish out my run and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you just subscribe. Make sure that you do leave some likes on this video. And uh, and hopefully here as we're driving in, make sure you pick up some of those Z-Mods air fresheners as well. I think those come with the uh, come with the engines once you purchase it. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we will uh, see you here in the next video.